Sometimes you want to pick them up by the back of their legs because sometimes they're not full. It's ju it might just be their stomachs pressing on the ground, so it makes them look their stomachs look big, but it's not. And when you want to calm down the mom or the dog, you like want to massage her sometimes because she'll want to get up and lick them, and you have to like massage her so she won't get up. It's important to, for her to clean them because if she doesn't clean them, their poo can get, like, it will harden on their butt and then once it's hardened, it'll, it'll stick and it'll be hard to take it off and it'll hurt them when you try to take it off. So it's good that she's cleaning them because then um, she's helping them and cleaning the butts off. That way, when they go bathroom, it doesn't get stuck on them. They're so, after we're done feeding the puppies, we give her some Clavamox, which is one tablet um, every 12 hours, so that she doesn't have any infections because of the incision that she got. So. We wrap, it, we wrap it in turkey, that way she'll eat it, because sometimes she doesn't want to eat it plain. Thank God for my daughter, she's very active in this. Like I said, this is a family thing, man. Showtime Bullies, everybody participates, you know? And this is what the kids love to do. We show them how to take care of animals, how to be safe with animals, how to take care of puppies, you know, things to highlight, you know, educate them. You never know, she might want to turn out to be a veterinarian one day. You never know, it might be something that where her dog later in life she needs to take care of and she'll have those skills. So it's very important to invest in your kids, man. You know, show them some things that they can have in life that they'll be able to value, that they'll be able to pass on. So, you know, basically we separate the mom from the puppies. It's very important to do that because, you know, the mom sometimes can sit on the puppies. The mom can sometimes eat the puppies. The mom can sometimes, you know, just have accidents with the puppies. So we keep them separate. Cartel stays in her kennel for the most part to recovery since so she has a incision and everything and the puppies stay in a separate room, you know. So you guys could notice like on Cartel's head, she has a little scar on her um, forehead. Uh, basically, you know, we got up, middle of the night, you know, she heard the puppies crying, she was trying to get out of her kennel, she starts pulling on the cage, back and forth, back and forth, barking her head against the cage because she wants to get to her puppies. You know, when that happens, basically, you know, she kind of scraped her forehead, you know, we had her in a kennel that pretty much she could do that with. So, what we had to do, we got rid of that kennel, you know, this is the one that she was in, you know, the one that I picked up, showed you guys in a previous video. You know, basically it wasn't good for her. So we end up putting her in this one, a little more safe uh, and a little more dog friendly for her. Man, hey, just got this in the mail. About to hit a photo shoot, man. Got something special coming for y'all. Woo! Hey, Pacino photo shoot, man. King of my yard. Picked him up a nice little gold chain. You know, something light, 10 carats. And then got this custom made right here. Y'all know what it is, killer season, ski mask season. Custom Pacino logo on the top right there. Let's get it. Right. We're gonna do a photo shoot of Pacino in the garage, doing something different. He's gonna be wearing a ski mask and a gold chain. And we're gonna see how it turns out. You know, these photo shoots, man, they're not easy. You know, trying to get the dog in the right position, trying to get the dog to cooperate with you. Putting a ski mask on the dog face is not easy. You know, just to get this shot to uh, promote your dog and to show a different side of your dog, you know, in regards to uh, promotional aspects. You know, it's very important to do these things. Man, those are some dope photos. How do you think you did? Good. good. Did you get a good one? Yeah. Damn, that's money right there. Dang. 
you know, photo shoots all wrapped up. You know, it was a quick one. You know, my daughter, she pretty much nailed it right away. So while she goes out, you know, take care of the photos, you know, and get them uploaded for me so that she can send them to me. You know, it's time to, you know, ball time with Pacino, man. He's a young bull. You know, I'm loving the way that this boy has turned out. You know, I'm loving his productions, his kids. You know, this is my boy, man. You can see we have fun. You know, I play with my dogs. We play with the ball. You know, he's not sitting in a cage all day. Has a beautiful coat, beautiful rear, uh, beautiful top line. You know, he's not sloppy at all. You know, it's unfortunate that we see a lot of people uh, want to complain about the exotic breed. Yet we see a dog like Pacino who's fully active. You know, his tongue isn't hanging out of his mouth. He's not, you know, breathing hard to where, you know, you could basically hear it and it's very audible. You know, I love Pacino, man. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. This is my son, man. Salute to Joe Cali for selling them to me. And, you know, man, I just got to my phone. You know, I was away, you know, working, feeding the pups, helping my daughter. You know, I see my boy Cass hit me. You know, I hit him up yesterday, you know, asked him about those hats that he had for sale. You know, each one teach one. One hand wash the other. Both hands wash the face. You know, salute to my kennel partner, Jerome. You know, he taught me that. And, you know... One hand washing the other is me supporting, you know, Cass and what he's doing, his movement. For those of you who don't know, Cass owns Rocksteady, you know, arguably one of the top three, you know, producing bulldogs out there. You could go check his resume, you know. So, Cass, you know, salute to you, man. And you see, I went out there. I um, commented on Cass stuff, hit him with a couple things, and you see right away, boom, boom, Cass showed the love right back. So, you know, promotion is very important. You know, you got to hit Facebook. You got to put your tags on there. You know, you got to put it out there. So, you know, that photo my daughter just took, you know, we're going to take some time and just throw it on Facebook and see what's going on with it. You know, outside of Facebook, you know, I'm also on Instagram. So that's another avenue to get your following up to, so that people can see what you're really about, what your camp is about, to, you know, your level of professionalism, the attention to detail that you have and everything that you do. So, you know, once we throw that out there, you know, it's time to come back. And basically, you know, look at what's going on. You know, we put the dogs out there. We took the photos. Now, let's see how the photo's doing. You know, okay, you know, I see 47 likes. You know, a lot of uh, comments on there. And this is in less than an hour. So, this photo will do very, very well. You know, I'm very proud of my daughter for taking this photo. You know, I like to go to see who's liking it. Because I'm going to always pay that love forward. You know, 47 people, 50 people on there taking time to uh, show love. So, you know, I'm going to go pay it forward. I'm going to do the same thing on IG. I'm going to see who's showing love and I'm going to go pay it forward. Because if we're doing what we're doing and we're not paying it forward as breeders, you know, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Yeah, another day in the life of Showtime Bullies. You know, you got to see me get that great news when I was at work. My wife hit me, told me we had puppies on the ground. It's a repeat uh, breeding Lady Cartel Pacino, one of my favorite Pacino breedings. I had to buy her back. Um, I mean, you got to see me hit the cryo bank, you know, picking up that plasma. You got to see me talk to Carol. You got to see my little daughter. She's eight years old, you know, up in the litter. You know, how educated she is about this breed. You got to see my other daughter, you know, the famous photographer out here, you know, mentored by none other than Bully Web TV, Big Will, you know. So, you know, another day in the life for Showtime Bullies, man. If you ain't about this breed life, you know what I'm saying, you know, pick another hobby, man. That's all we do, baby. Killer season.